Hi, I'm Sarah Wigway, and today I'll be showing you a functional splint that I made. And this splint was targeted towards a client who has hypotonia in the dominant upper extremity and has trouble using a writing utensil or a stylus for a touch screen. Um, unfortunately, based on my field work placement, I wasn't able to do this on an actual client, but I also thought that this would be something that could be very functional for many people considering the high use of um, touch screens and the stylus pens that you can use for them as well. So in thinking about this assignment, I wanted to you know, look at the hand and see if someone had low tone, how they would want to have their hand positioned, what parts they would want to be supportive in, and which parts to avoid. So here is the scent that I made. Okay. It's hard to see on video, but I'll be putting it on. Since I don't have a client, I'll be demonstrating it myself. Um, it doesn't fit me exactly correctly because it wasn't made for me, but this will give you a good idea of what the splint is like and how it can be used. So there are three different parts that went into the splint. The first is this one around the thumb that goes into the palm and over the top of the hand. The second part to the splint is the index finger support, and the third part is the pen support, this little loop here. So to put this on, the client would slide their thumb through the thumb support and rest the index finger on the support there. I have a little strap that goes around to the palm of the hand over the top for added support. And then you take your writing utensil of choice and slide it through the loop so it rests comfortably between the finger and the thumb. And then you can use it on a pen, as a pen to write like that. So it's very supportive on the top of the hand and also curves around the palm. Now here it's important to note that it's below the distal palmar crease for added comfort and security with these three digits. Um, but you also have the sensation of your fingertip and your thumb to feel the pen um, to make sure that you're writing correctly. Like I said, this can also be used if I had a stylus for a touch screen. In order to use a touch screen more effectively with a client with hypotonia. So, making this was pretty simple. Um, you can refer to my handout for that. Um, and it was just made from scraps of splinting material. So, very inexpensive, something that may have been thrown away otherwise but it can be very functional for an individual who wasn't able to do those things before. Um, a few reasons why I wanted to make this splint and why I think it's important for my classmates and I to remember in the future is because it targets so many areas of occupation. And initially, it was just going to be something for work. That was my initial idea. And then once I was thinking about it more, um, it can be really used in a lot of areas of occupation. Um, as far as IDLs, it can be used for financial management, for paying bills, writing checks, and that type of thing. It can be used for work, um, either job performance or actually looking for employment by filling out applications and creating a resume. Um, it can be used for leisure. If someone likes to do a lot of online gaming or any kind of games on a touch screen, or even just like a Sudoku or a paper crossword puzzle can be used for that. It can also be used to aid in social participation by allowing someone to get onto social media through a touch screen device using a stylus. So this is really functional across a lot of areas of occupation and um, it's small and easy to carry around. Um, it's comfortable and very functional. I can see someone using this every day. You know, you think about how many times you use a writing utensil or how many times you use a touch screen and this could make a world of a difference 
through someone with hypotonia who wasn't able to do those things before. So I hope you enjoyed my little demonstration of my splint. Thank you.